Hi, my name is Tristan, and this is Melody. Melody is a semi-random sequence generator. Unlike traditional step sequencers, Melody creates sequences based on parameters at the click of a button. Anything from a sparkly melody to a cool bass line. Let's go over the different tunable parameters to set the mood of your sequence. First up, we have skip. This allows us to set the probability that a note is skipped in the sequence. So at its minimum, 0% of the notes are being skipped in the sequence. And if we turn it up and regenerate, you can hear now several of the notes are being skipped, about 30% probability. Next, we have the pluck knob. This effectively sets the gate length of the notes in the sequence. This is a live knob, which means that we can change it and it will take effect immediately without us having to hit generate. So at its minimum, you can hear the notes are really short and plucky. As we turn it up, the gate length increases. And at its maximum value, you can hear them begin to glide into one another or portamento. Next, we have the tie parameter. This allows us to set the probability that two notes are tied together, effectively making them last two clock pulses. So here at its minimum, 0% of the notes are being tied together. And if you turn it up and hit regenerate, you can see some of the notes are lasting two clock pulses rather than one. Next, we have the trend parameter. This allows us to set the trend of the notes throughout the sequence, whether or not they go from low to high or high to low. At its minimum value, the notes will go from low to high, setting it to around neutral. It makes the notes kind of stay in the same region. At its maximum value, the notes will go from high to low. Next, we have the scale parameter. This allows you to select the scale with which Melody generates your sequence from. There are five scales to choose from. A scale of perfect notes, a pentatonic scale, diatonic scale, chromatic scale, and completely unquantized. So when the knob is all the way down, the scale is a scale of perfect notes. Turning it up, we can cycle through all the different scales, as shown on the LEDs, all the way up to unquantized. Here we have a chromatic scale. diatonic scale, pentatonic scale, and perfect notes, that is root note, perfect fourth, and perfect fifth. Next we have the range parameter. This allows you to set the range of notes that Melody chooses from while generating a sequence anywhere from one to four octaves. So this is one octave at its minimum, and at its maximum, it could choose all the way up to four octaves of range for the notes. Then we have the length parameter. This sets the length of your sequence. As indicated by the LEDs, it can go anywhere from one all the way up to 16 notes. And pushing it even further will give us 
an infinite length scale, essentially regenerating after 16 notes. So this is the quote unquote infinite length sequence. It will never repeat as it regenerates at the end of every cycle. I can select eight notes, for example. Maybe three notes. Finally, we have the speed parameter. This sets the speed of the internal clock, which triggers the sequencer. top of the module we have the generate section where new melodies are generated at the click of the button or with an external trigger from another module in your system. To the right of the tune section we have the cycle section. Normally melody will run in cycle mode which means that the sequence will loop after it ends. However this can be disabled with this switch. This button and Eurorack trigger will trigger the sequence to restart. This even works when the module is in loop mode. To give some cool effects. Below that we have the output section. This simply outputs the gate and the volt per octave pitch signal. At the bottom of the module, we have the clocking section. When the switch is down, the module waits for an external clock signal to be patched into this in jack to trigger the sequence forward. When the switch is up, the module generates its own internal clock. In both cases, the clock will be patched out of this out jack. And that's the end of the walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.